Oh, hey, how's it going? And let me get a little closer here. Getting used to all this new mechanics. But hey, how's it going? Diamond here. And today I'm back here at the spawn of my re well, not recreating, but creating my own server series. And don't get me wrong, I'm still working on it. It's very difficult as I not only have to build this with only one other guy, but yeah, I I'm not here to talk about that today. I'm here to talk about this really cool plugin that I found and might actually knock the living socks out of you. And that's called Blue Map. And what it does, it allows you to create a similar experience such as Dynamic Map, but with a nice little twist. And with the features it has and everything, it is truly amazing. I'm 100% gonna suggest it for you guys today to try it out. I, I even let my mouse go and I was pointing at the screen, but you guys couldn't see it. That's how good this plugin is. Quick disclaimer, uh, you will be seeing the map and it, it's not fully done, so... um, But yeah, I don't really have much other to say than let's check this amazing plugin out, shall we? All right, so as you can see here, I'm just in the spawn. There is a lot more buildings out and I'm not really gonna show you what it is. I can just show you some key features. There's the big tree, here's a statue or monument and there are some houses around. And as you can see, I will try this afterwards, but you can see there, I have placeholder blocks, which I actually use a resource pack. So I'm gonna try and do this in the actual video. So there's no learning progress. I wanna see how it, easy it is to do, but I'm gonna try to add a resource pack and I'm gonna show you guys that more down the line once I show you how to actually set up this plugin. So it's pretty straightforward and I'm gonna show you how the plugin looks before we get setting it up. And yeah, let's take a look at that real quick. All right, so right now I'm a little zoomed in, but once I start zooming out, you can see this, hey, this looks just like there's a, <laughs> I forgot someone actually made this in the top right. Um, but this looks looks exactly like dynamic map. Why should I even switch? Well, the key feature here is I rendered this huge map and I'm pretty certain it's around, I'd say 18 by 20,000 blocks. And this is, of course, this isn't huge compared to what people might have for an SMP, but I rendered all of this, I'd say well under eight minutes. And that is super impressive while dynamic map would take me roughly, if I'm lucky, under an hour. Well, of course, I'm not trying to put hate against dynamic map. I still think they're both amazing plugins, but it's just that blue map is more new and trying to improve upon what dynamic map has. And one improvement is of course rendering time. So this is amazing. You can actually zoom in and everything. It what I can see it's doing as well as when you're zoomed out, you don't see as much detail because you don't need to see the details. But once you're zoomed in, it starts rendering in all those details, all the small imperfections that Minecraft might have. And it just does a really good job. So so I, as you can see there, the tree kind of changes after I zoom in. So here I am zoomed in. You can see the trees have really nice detail to it. But as soon as I start zooming out, it becomes more of a complete mess. You can sometimes see the transition like right there, how they change. But overall, let me show you some more features. You can teleport to players just by coming over here and clicking on the players tab. You can disable, all these are of course configurable, but you can also check the markers list and you can even check the map list. So there are other maps. I completely paused them because I'm not gonna be showing them as of the moment. However, we can go ahead and check out these three cool buttons. Of course, day and night cycle if you want to check it out. So I actually like this. I might be using it to test out where I need lights in the future, but for now we'll keep it daytime to make it easy to see. Let's go ahead and click this perspective. And what that does is an amazing feature. It will look janky at the start because what it's trying to do here is something done completely in a web browser. So I'm gonna zoom in and as you can see, you can start seeing a lot more detail. You can you see a lot of more depth to the actual map. So I'm gonna zoom in more and you can see, yeah, you can pretty much see blocks through the way they are you can even i didn't even notice this is actually new. you can actually click a block and know its location you can use wasd here and it just it's working flawlessly however you will notice that in the background they look more like blobs and that is a huge blob and the reason for this is so it doesn't put a lot of processing power on the actual server for what it's capable of doing and what you're actually going to be doing when it comes to this it works perfectly because 
you're not going to be seeing the entire map. If you want to see the entire map, go into the server and see the entire map. But for some players, they might just want to check out this friend's really cool base without having to go there. And all they need to do is zoom in and rotate their camera. I'm using a right click feature to rotate, as you can see here. And then I can use my left click to sort of move the camera around or just WASD. But then there is one extra feature, which is free flight. And that puts you more of a perspective of a player. So it's sort of, you will pretty much understand it pretty easy once you start getting the grabs of it. But overall, it just feels like, well, you're in vanilla Minecraft in a way, of, other than the blobs, of course, maybe modded Minecraft. But you can use shift to go down, you can use space to go up, and overall, it's just a really good experience. And I think I just noticed that as well. As you use similar features in Spectator, if you start using your scroll wheel up, you can get some pretty gnarly speeds at that. But if you slow it down, you can go to a point where you're just halting completely. Again, I can just teleport back to my player anytime I want to. So he is some, somewhere around here. I don't want full screen, thank you very much. Where is he? Oh, and there he is right there. But let's go ahead and check out the other map. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and click on, I actually really like how the tree looks in here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and click on the flat plane right here. And that's gonna put us back into 2D mode. And I can also use WASD here. And I can go ahead and check out the rest of the map just like this. So this was one of, I believe one of these were the final zones, but I'm gonna check out this zone. I really like this zone, how it came out. So I can go ahead and zoom in here and you can still see that they're trying their best to do depth but what i'm going to do is click on the 3d perspective and i'm going to go again i'm actually going to go and just play a perspective and just like that i can see the map pretty nice let's go into the tutorial i'm going to explain a few things there and then i want to come back and see if i can make the resource pack work with this and that looks really weird again if you really want to see the map in this way join the server. But I 100% understand what the developer is doing here to keep your resources really light. Overall, I'm still very impressed on what he's actually doing. All right, so once you're in your plugins folder and you've actually added the plugin, you don't require any dependencies. And we're gonna be using Revive Note for this. So if you guys wanna check them out in the description down below, you can use my promo code DIAMOND in all caps and get 15% off your very first server. You can use this to start your very own server or just start an SMP and put this amazing plugin. It's completely free. However, let's get straight into this tutorial. So we can go ahead into Blue Map, and here you'll see some variation of files. So we can start off with the actual core.config. And the reason we're starting with that is when you first load a plugin, it's gonna generate all the files. And then secondly, it's gonna ask you to basically accept the EULA. And once you've accepted that, you can actually start using the plugin. That will allow you to generate and render everything that you need. So once you accept that, you can also change and modify some things. So this is the folder where all the data is gonna be saved and that's gonna be blue map and that's gonna be in the root of your files. So in this case, it'll be in container and you can even set the, the amount of threads that blue map can use. So if I wanted to, I could increase this as my server does have a lot more threads to run on. But once you have that, you can go ahead back into webserver.config and this is where it really matters. And how to do this is pretty simple. Go into networks. I'm gonna go ahead and open that in a separate panel and here we just create an allocation and all we need to do is copy the secondary port and just replace the port default here and here i don't actually think this was necessary i think i'm just being stupid as it's just showing an example but however i switch them both it's probably me just being stupid i don't doubt that but this is all you need to do is just switch the port click save and then just do blue map reload and then you can load up your blue map and all you need to do to load it up is go and copy the primary ip so it would be this and then you need to put in your port. In this case, it would be 8140. And then copy that and paste it in your browser. And that's all you need to do. It's gonna load up everything and ensure that it's running fine. What you end up seeing is basically, well, your map. Now, as I stated, I want to try out and uploading my own resource pack and see if it works just out of the box. And stated that we need to upload it to the resource pack directory found in your plugins, blue map and resource pack. However, I don't see one. I'm gonna go ahead and try creating one. So I'm gonna call it resource pack as stated in the wiki page. And then we just need to upload the zip right into here. Just like that, I uploaded it. I'm gonna save this and then I'm gonna show some commands that we can do, which it stated I will have to purge the current world in order to make it work properly. So I'm gonna hop back in game and I'm gonna see if everything works as stated. All right, so we're back in game. And as you can see here, I have loaded up the resource pack. So I'm giving an idea of what we're basically gonna well, be seen. So in this certain resource pack, the, the slabs should look more, well, like pathways. And that we should be seeing all that crying obsidian look more like a infected goo, I, guess. I don't really know, it's, it's blocky. But I'm just giving off an example of what we should technically be seeing. And another block, which should be over here, is the glass I 
Can't confirm if it's gonna work or not, but it technically should be animated. I don't know so much about animated blocks, but in this case it is animated, so if it isn't, I'm not gonna be disappointed. But if it is, this song's gonna be a perk. So to get started, we are going to need to run some commands. For that, we can do blue map, and then we need to completely purge this world. And in this case, it's gonna be called future. And I'm just gonna go ahead and purge the entire map. We can even do some other things such as we can stop other worlds from rendering. So I have an older map that I don't really need. In this case, I already stopped it, but it should appear here, but you can type it out as regardless. So old future would be one of the maps. I can even start it back up if I'd like to. And in that case, again, it'll be old future and I can start it back up. We can even freeze the world completely if you want to and here you can see I can freeze any of these worlds so make sure nothing is being updated or I can even force an update. So if I place a block I can force an update around that area so I can see it more recently. You can also change that in the configuration but it's really up to you how you do it. Now that I've done that I did a purge and I'm gonna go back onto the website and see if it worked. Wow that is that makes me spinny. Woo! All right so now that I did some extra tasks in order to get it to run properly what I did was delete the blue map in the container folder and then delete the maps folder and I made sure that, uh, well, it stated in the wiki that you needed to have it as the same version as the Minecraft version you're running. So I made sure it was compatible with 1.19.2, which it was. And as soon as I start zooming in, you can see here are the custom blocks I've added or retextured. And here are the sidewalks, which are working great. However, I still really want to check out if the glass is animated. I do not believe I have any regions that are yet loaded. But I think they are loading in pretty quickly. I really do love this whole animation. Just it loads the same way as Minecraft. Sadly, it's not animated. I don't really blame them for that one. Because that would be more resource heavy. But I, overall, I mean, it didn't really mess up the textures while it's technically supposed to be an animated one so i'm still impressed i cannot complain about this whatsoever it looks great it does its job just fine so yeah but there you go and there you have it that was blue map i've been wanting to do a video of this for a while and i'm happy i did i'm astonished with this plugin and it's super easy to set up so i highly suggest you guys give it a try all the links you're gonna need are in the description down below so make sure to check them out and make sure to check out revive node other than that i'm diamond i hope you have an amazing day and i will catch you guys next time cheers